Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Croatia, and they take on Belgium. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. And the starting 11 for Croatia. Luka Modric plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. The starting players for Belgium. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Jan Vertonghen starts with Toby Alderweireld in central defence. And in attack, Aidan Azar starts alongside Michi Batshuayi. And now they get the ball rolling. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, and I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there, he's not going to take any messing about here. Oh, he looks threatening. And a fine stop. And there's the delivery, just far too close to the goalkeeper. Modric. Well, throughout his long career, Luka Modric has always had the ability to dictate the rhythm of a game. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him in this match? Well, Derek, when he's on form, when he's focused, he's a brilliant runner with the ball. He can take on players. He can go past people. Can he finish? And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Oh. 
1 0 then. Azar. That's right. Tielemans. Gives it a go. Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. Playing it short. Well, options at the back post here. And it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over. Oh, foul play, says the referee. Attempting the through ball. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Andrei Kramaric. Could be a chance to break here. Well, it fizzled out. Carrasco. That's right. And it crossed the byline. A goal kick as a result. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. A decisive clearance it was. Andrei Kramaric. Now with Livaya. Brozovic. Here's Kovacic. Oh, great attacking play. Tielemans. Oh, nice ball. Meunier. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. Modric, Kramaric. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Onana. Belgium a little wasteful in possession. Promising attack, this. Fed through by Kovacic. To be two in front. Things look good for them now. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal.
2-0 here and the ball is moving again well that's a super ball over the top it has to be a goal how about that he's put it away to make it a hat trick Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Goal. Blistering first-half display, and just look at that score. Hazard. Disappointing pass. He has teammates around him. Tielemans. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. And it was turned out, so a throw in will be next. And they're making a change. Michi Oxlade to be replaced by number nine, Romelu Lukaku. Lunier, and a failure to keep it on the part of Belgium. De Bruyne. Now Brozovic. And the counter looks on here, options available. And now Perisic. And on to Kovacic. Just made sure nothing came of that. Minier. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, you tend to think Kevin De Bruyne dominates most matches, but he hasn't been dominant in this one, Stuart. Well, he has to find space in more dangerous areas. He's such a good player around the box, but today he struggled to get on the ball, and that's one of the reasons they're losing here. Off and running again, and there was a real golf in class in the first 45, where we see an improved effort from Belgium in the second. Carrasco couldn't find a teammate throw in here Brozovic well, couldn't quite find his teammate Tielemans nice looking pass Excellent vision. Oh, it almost did the trick for them. Great defending. This might be ideal for the counter. They need to get bodies back. Kovacic. Read it well. Tielemans. Romelu Lukaku now. Aiden Azar. Carrasco, just the challenge that was required. Marco Livaya, the ball with Luka Modric. Now they've lost it. Well, that'll be a free kick. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Well, 
Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Azar. Lukaku! Nicely blocked. And that was a very fine read. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Tielemans. Now Azar. Can he put it away? And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Underway at 3 1. Number 11, Ivan Carrasco. Ivan Perisic. Gvardiol. Now Brozovic. Brozovic. Modric. Good pass. And close, but offside nonetheless. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Thomas Mounier entering the match. Number 16, Forgan Hazard. Well, no surprise there. Belgium have had more of the possession, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders, otherwise they're going to lose this. Well, can they regain possession first and be more creative with the ball? Poor attempt at a pass, really. De Bruyne. Here's Tielemans. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Oh, lovely ball. Brozovic. Giving the ball away. Could be a chance to break here. Modric. And is he going to do it? Kovacic. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Free kick awarded then by the referee. And he's going to go back and issue a caution here. Well, the referee wasn't going to forget that, was he? Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Aidan Azar. Vertonghen. De Bruyne now. Torgan Azar. Azar. Now Azar. Could pull one back here. Just can't get it past him. Well, he tried in vain to get himself back on side. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. Hang on to the ball. Dendonka. Lukaku waiting. And a no-nonsense clearance. And the referee blows for a foul. Well, some referees might have elected to hand out the yellow card, but no booking on this occasion. Well, not 
quite the tantalising free kick he was hoping for. Goalkeeper's ball. There will be three minutes added on at the end. Oh, great vision. Kovacic. And here's Brozovic. It might be. And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. the final whistle it goes into the history books as a win for them so morale is high Stuart your analysis well Derek they were the better team all over the pitch we saw good individual performances we saw an attack which was always threatening and they played really well what a performance that was today